puntos con 0,53% para abajo en los 3,96 puntos. Y por último, el bono americano a más largo plazo, el bono a 30 años, lo tenemos también a la baja con caídas del 0,50%, medio punto porcentual para abajo en los 4,54 puntos. Enseguida vamos a continuar mirando a esas empresas protagonistas que están marcando la jornada de hoy, sobre todo en el Nasdaq 100, en esas tecnológicas, pero mientras tanto vamos a darles esta información de este nuevo implante electrónico electrónico para recuperar la vista que ayuda ya a pacientes con degeneración ocular avanzada. Bueno, pues este titular que nos dejaba ya el Financial Times, acompáñenme a ver lo que es lo que estaban anunciando y es que los científicos inventan ya ese implante ocular para ayudar a pacientes ciegos a volver a ver este dispositivo que incluso podría mejorar la visión de las personas con degeneración macular avanzada. Vamos a mirar esos puntos Puntos clave, ¿por qué es importante? Porque este implante fotovoltaico subretinal, es decir, se coloca debajo de la retina, eh, podría... Eh, funcionar incluso para todas esas personas que no ven con esa actividad por luz infrarroja que mandaría al ojo y que pues funcionaría también a través de unas gafas especiales que proyectan esa luz infrarroja hacia el implante y que de esa manera el dispositivo permitiría ver a esa persona y mandar señales al cerebro del paciente. Mirando también a, ese a este tratamiento que funciona ya para las personas que sufren de degeneración macular asociada a la edad, también con conocido como AMD y que está dirigido principalmente a esos pacientes con atrofia geográfica, es decir, a todos aquellos que no puedan leer, reconocer eh, eh, rostros faciales y que con este tratamiento de AMD, que es la causa principal de la ceguera inversible en el mundo y que afecta ya a 5 millones de personas que podrían verse beneficiadas con este nuevo implante. Bueno, pues también podrían y reemplazan ya esas células dañadas para recuperar la visión central, mandando esas señales a los cerebros. Ya está teniendo eh, resultados inmediatos y que son de éxito. Más del 81% de los pacientes con ese seguimiento a 12 meses ya ha sido testado que dicen que ha mejorado significativamente esa capacidad de visión. 32 pacientes han recibido este implante colocado debajo de la retina y también asociado con eh, esas gafas que eh, 32 han completado ese seguimiento a 12 meses y que eh, dentro de esos 32 el 81% ha sido de éxito. Los efectos secundarios que pueden ser tempranos y mayor, mayoritariamente reversibles, podrían ser de 20, de 26 eventos graves que se han resuelto en dos meses. Bueno, pues vamos también a continuar eh, poniendo la mirada a este nuevo implante que, como decimos, podría recuperar la vista de todas esas personas que... Ya lo están viendo, el Prima System que es, se coloca como la primera tecnología capaz de restaurar la visión central a esas personas con AMD y que representa ese avance histórico en la salud y en la tecnología médica para poder potenciar y transformar la vida de millones de personas. Vamos a explicarlo mejor y tenemos para ello a uno de los científicos que ha colaborado en esta investigación, a Mr. Magi Mukit, cirujano oftalmólogo consultor, consultant ophthalmologic surgeon. Good afternoon, Mahi. Good afternoon. Thank you. I would like to ask you about all this uh, situation, this investigation that we have just discovered results of the implant. Could you uh, explain how the Prima implant was able to restore the central vision in the patients uh, with advanced macular degeneration and what the, would these results mean for their daily lives? Yes, yeah, so uh, Triatral macular degeneration with geographic atrophy is the condition and these patients in the trial were all legally blind in their central vision and the microchip is a two by two millimeter wireless uh, implant developed in Stanford University by Daniel Planker. So we were implanting the chip inside the eye with a vitrectomy operation where we removed the jelly from inside the eye and I placed the chip at the center of the macula where all the cells, the light sensitive cells which capture vision have been lost. So that's why they can't see. Um, the, the implant itself um, is like a miniature um, solar panel. It has 378 pixels 
And these tiny little cells are called photovoltaic cells. So they're activated by light, like a solar panel. So after the operation is done, after a month or so, the device is stimulated. The patients are then going through a rehabilitation program. And then they start to use the device. So the device works with a pair of glasses, which has a video camera over the implanted eye. When the patient doesn't have the glasses on, the implant doesn't work. So they put the glasses on, they look at an object. So for example, a page on a book with some words and some letters. That is then captured by the video camera, sent projected by infrared light onto the chip. It then passes through the, um, the glasses again into a small pocket computer, which then enhances and then refines the image. And then it fires it back through infrared light to the actual chip. So everything's wireless. That then passes through the remaining retina, down the optic nerve, which is intact, into the, vi the visual part to the brain. The whole system works instantaneously. So when they put the glasses on, what I've just described is an instantaneous thing. And what then happens is the patients are run through a series of tasks so they understand how to use the device, how to look at objects. And then over a few months, what we discovered was that based on a previous trial in France, this one is now validated that patients can actually recognize letters, words, and can read books. Um, what they see the most important thing about this particular device in this clinical trial is that the patients can actually see what we see. So they'll see a letter S, they'll see a letter T, they'll see the word Ola, for example. So they can then actually see that, which is incredible because all of the other devices today, I've worked in other retinal implant trials for other conditions, patients could just see flashing lights. So that's not meaningful. For this condition, because for this condition, people want to be able to read, they want to see in the central vision. So it's quite remarkable that um, we've demonstrated in this trial, as you've read in the New England Journal of Medicine release, that over 84% of the patients in the trial were able to recognize words, letters, read, and also write in many of our patients. So it is fantastic news for patients. Mr. Mackey, uh, this study mentions 26 serious adverse events in 19 participants. Most resolved quickly. What risks uh, should patients be aware of if they receive this implant? So, yes, yeah, so the patients have something called a vitrectomy surgeon. So, if anyone in the audience has had a vitrectomy operation or anyone does a vitrectomy, there's obviously surgical risks with a vitrectomy. It's a bit like cataract surgery. Um, the, so the majority of these adverse events were um, related to surgery, um, which then resolved or retreated. Um, the implant itself didn't actually cause any serious adverse events. So the implant itself sits inside the retina under the macula, sits there quite quietly. The complications that can occur, as I said, can occur during surgery um, or due to the condition itself. Um, so, from my point of view as a retinal surgeon, I would say that the vitrectomy operation is a very low risk operation, but risks can happen. So, that's always explained to our patients. Uh, but the good thing about this particular trial, the majority that you've just quoted resolved within about six to nine months. And the implant has remained stable and remains active, and we're now moving into the third year. And how exactly does the implant and glasses system work using infrared light uh, to convert these images into signals the retina can interpret? Yeah, so the video camera captures an object. So it, it, it takes a picture, a moving picture of an object, say uh, some let some words on a book. It then transmits it from the glasses with infrared light. So it, that, that visual perception is converted into infrared light which then fires that particular signal to the actual retinal chip. So the chip, the video camera, and the glasses are all aligned on the particular thing the patient is looking at. So that's an instantaneous thing. So the chip then fires up, gets stimulated. It then works with the glasses and the pocket processor. And it's like a loop. It's just like an instantaneous platform um, that then 
refines the images, and when the chip receives the refined image, the patients can see the refined image. So initially it's a bit noisy when we switch it on, but over a couple of months, using the software to refine the image, um, they're then able to see more meaningful objects. And finally, they're then able to actually identify letters, words, numbers. Um, and uh, talking about the future and the availability, when could this implant be available in the European Union and what steps are being taken to expand all this use for more patients with advanced AMD? Yeah, so Science Corporation in America are, are now running this whole um, <clears throat> trial and all, all of the, the technology. They've applied for what's called C marking. So for a medical device, you need C marking um, to make it approved. And then obviously there's many countries on the clinical trial. Those countries will be approached in turn within the European Union. We're also in the UK as well. And then once the regulatory processes are, are undertaken, we're hoping obviously that they would then be improved, approved in various countries. And then the surgeons could then start um, rolling that particular Prima device out to patients with this condition. So over the next, probably next uh, one to three years, you'll start hearing about this across Europe.